Hi, welcome back. In this video we'll be talking about finding formulas for sequences that have been written out using ellipses. You're given some sequence, a sub 0, a sub 1, a sub 2, dot dot dot, and you'd like to find a function where a sub n is equal to f of n. We'll be focusing mainly on sequences that are constant sequences, like 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, where every term is the same constant value. On arithmetic sequences, like this one, 20, 26, 32, 38, 44, where the difference between two successive terms is always the same. From 20 to 26, we add 6. From 26 to 32, we add 6. From 32 to 38, we add 6, and so on. Also, geometric sequences. In that case, it's not the differences that are the same, it's the ratio between the two terms is always constant. So 6 divided by 3 is 2. 12 divided by 6 is 2. 24 divided by 12 is 2. 48 divided by 24 is 2. So this is an example of a geometric sequence where the ratio between two successive terms is constant. And lastly, we'll be considering alternating sequences where here you see the signs of the successive terms alternates between negative, positive, negative, positive, negative. So let's talk about how we can find a formula for the different types of sequences here. The simplest here is a constant sequence, a sequence that looks like this, where every term is exactly the same. In that case, the function is just that constant itself, a sub n is equal to c. So for the sequence 9999999 a sub n would be equal to 9. The next level up would be an arithmetic sequence. In an arithmetic sequence, the zeroth term is equal to a, then the way you get between successive terms is to increment by d. So this goes from a to a plus d to a plus d plus d to a plus d plus d plus d. Let's rewrite this and find a pattern. So a plus d plus d is a plus 2d. a plus d plus d plus d is a plus 3d. So if we're going backwards, we should expect a plus 1d and a plus 0d. If you look at this, the only part of the expression that's changing is this coefficient in front of the d term. So if we wanted to write down a formula for the nth term, we should expect that the nth term looks like a plus n times d. As an example, let's look at 20, 26, 32, etc. The initial term is 20. The common difference is 6. And so a formula for a sub n would be 20 plus n times 6, which is equivalent to writing 20 plus 6n. Now let's talk about geometric sequences. They behave very similarly. So in this case, a geometric sequence starts off with some zeroth value. To get between successive terms, you multiply by some ratio r, and we can simplify these expressions as a times r squared, a times r cubed, a times r to the first, and a times r to the zero. And this time we see that the only ex part of the expression that's changing is the exponent. So we should expect that the formula for the nth term of a geometric sequence with initial term a and common ratio r is a times r to the n. As an example, we have the, uh, the sequence 3, 6, 12, 24, 48, etc. We see that our initial term is 3. The common ratio, we're multiplying by 2 each time. And so the formula for a sub n is going to be 3 times 2 to the n. Let's stop there for now. Uh, see you soon.